Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So one question that I get asked so frequently is what is my hair color? and What color do I use to dye it? So I touched up my hair color earlier today and I thought may as well film it so I could show you not only what color I used on my hair but also just share with you some of my tips for coloring hair at home in case you're brand new to it and have never done it before. So the hair color that I use this time around is the Garnier Olea in dark brown 4.0. The reason why I never really have like a straight specific answer to give people when they ask what my hair color is, is because I honestly use something different every single time. I never stick to the same color or the same brand. Sometimes I go to Sally's and get the color and mix it myself. Other times I just use box dye from the drugstore, so it really just all depends. So if you want my exact hair color, this is what I use today. This is freshly dyed hair. But for the most part, I just look for colors that say dark brown or darkest brown. I never use black because I just feel like for me that's too harsh. My hair is always just dark brown, darkest brown, something like that. This was actually my first time using this dye and I was really impressed with it. I really liked it. I really love the way that my hair turned out. It's exactly the color that I was looking for. It feels really soft. I think it looks nice and vibrant and shiny and it also smells really good too which is another plus. This says that it has 60% oils and no ammonia with natural flower oils for radiant, long-lasting color. Hair is hydrated, silky, and three times shinier, so I don't know. I only used one box of color for my hair, so you can see this is all my real hair right here. One box was the perfect amount. I used every single drop, and it was perfect. So if your hair is any fuller or longer than mine, then you're gonna probably need two boxes. But if it's any shorter or thinner, then one will definitely be enough. So let's just get into the actual application process. So the color that I'm gonna be using is the Garnier Olea Brilliant Color in the shade Dark Brown. So before I get started, I always brush through my hair just to make sure I don't have any tangles. Okay, so inside the box, you get your three steps. You get your developer, the color, and then a conditioner for after you color. Then you also get the little bottle to mix everything up in, your instructions, and a set of rubber gloves. All right, so I'm gonna open up the little mixing jar. I'm gonna twist off the top from the cap. And then I'm going to pour everything from step number one, the developer, into the mixing jar. Then I'm gonna open up step number two, the color. Just puncture the opening. And then I'm gonna pour that into the mixing bottle as well. And I forgot to mention, but you want to make sure that anytime you're coloring your hair, you always wear just like some old shirt that you don't care about because you definitely will get at least a little bit of color on it. And if you've never colored your hair yourself before, or if you just tend to be a little bit messy, definitely make sure that you protect the area around you because if you get color on anything it's just going to stain and ruin it so maybe lay out some newspaper if you're in the bathroom make sure you take all the bath mats out just to be on the safe side all right so i put the top back on the mixing jar and i'm just going to mix it up i always start with my roots first because they need more time to process than the rest of my hair because the rest of my hair obviously is already colored it just needs a little bit of a touch up so I just start with my hair parted down the middle and I just squeeze this out along the sides of my part like that. And then I just rub it in. If you have a tint brush, you could get one at Sally's Beauty Supply for like a dollar. Those are really useful and they make the whole process super easy and a little bit less messy because you don't have to get color on your gloves. And typically I would use one, but just for the sake of this video, um, I won't use it just in case you don't have one. So now that I got the entire top of my head around my roots, I'm going to section my hair. When you're making your sections and trying to part your hair, if you have like a rat tail comb or just something with a pointed edge to kind of get in there, it just makes parting your hair so much easier. So I'm just going to keep repeating the same thing. Put it along the sides of my part to get my roots.
Once I get to about the tip of my ear, I flip the hair over and I start working on the other side. All right, so now this whole entire top section is finished. So I'm gonna pull it up like this, like I was putting my hair in a ponytail, and now I'm gonna make sure that I get the edges around my face. And try to be careful when you're doing this so that you don't get dye like all over your face. And then I'm going to do the same thing in the back. It's a little hard for me to see, so I'm just going to kind of try to feel it out. But I'm just going to go along that parted line. Just so that way I'm getting the roots in every direction. Okay, so my roots at the top are finished, so I'm just gonna pin that up and now work on the bottom section. So I usually will just split my hair down the middle like this. And again, just go section by section doing the roots. I also go down my part in the back Make sure I'm getting the roots back there. And then once I'm done with the entire bottom section, I pull it up. And then just like we did in the front, I'm gonna make sure that I get my hairline at the bottom. Because obviously if you ever pull your hair up in a ponytail or anything like that, you will be able to see the roots under there. And I just run my finger behind my ear and make sure that I'm getting like any little baby hairs. So I'm just gonna wrap it all up together and then just pin it. So right now, the color is only on my roots. The ends of my hair are still completely dry. So I'm gonna let this process, it says to let your roots process for 20 minutes and then apply the rest of the color to your mid shaft and ends for the last 10 minutes or so. Just taking some toilet paper and just kind of running it along the edges just to make sure that I'm wiping away any color that got onto my skin. Okay, and then I set my timer for 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. I'm gonna take my hair down and I'm just going to apply the remaining color to the rest of my hair. I just run my fingers through the hair just to make sure that I'm really saturating every strand and I'm not missing any parts. Then again, I'm gonna grab all my hair together and bring it up to the top and then I just have like a couple drops left of color. So I'm just gonna squeeze it out, make sure that I'm really saturating my ends a lot because my ends were really faded. All right, so now that I'm just gonna leave on for another 10 minutes and then rinse it out. By the way, the directions do have two different steps depending on if you're just touching up your color or if you're doing like a full brand new fresh application. Because my hair was already dyed and it was already dark, I mostly just wanted to touch up the parts that were fading and get my roots that were growing in. So I did the touch up application, but the directions say that if you're doing a full fresh application to just apply it all over your entire head and leave it everywhere for the full 30 minutes. Just wanted to point that out because I know I didn't mention that, you know, as I was actually applying it. But all of that is clearly stated in the direction, so just make sure you read through that first. No matter what hair color you're ever using, always check the directions that come specifically with that color just to be on the safe side. When I was washing it out, people always ask me this if I shampoo my hair when I'm rinsing out the color. I do. I don't use like a large amount of shampoo like I would normally. I just use a little bit, but I need something because I feel like when I'm just rinsing my hair with water alone, it's not getting all of the color out and there might still be color like stuck on my scalp or something. And I just want my head to be completely clean 
clean. So I do use a little bit of shampoo and I really like massage my scalp and make sure I'm getting all of the excess color out. And then I did use the conditioner that came with the color, which I really did like. I would say you probably could get two to three uses out of that, so I will be using it the next couple times that I wash my hair. But yeah, that's basically it. I mean, the whole process is super easy and simple, but just in case you are a beginner, I hope that that was helpful to actually see the way that I apply it. And from now on, if you're ever wondering what color I use for my hair, this is the one that I used most recently. I probably will use this again the next time, actually, because I did really like it a lot, and I love... I mean, I know the color doesn't look significantly different or anything, but this is like spot on. Sometimes when my hair is freshly dyed, it looks too dark, and then it takes like a couple washes for it to get the color that I like. This is just right off the bat, perfect, exactly what I wanted. So I love it, and I feel like it looks natural too. It's not like super harsh and weird. Oh, also in case you're wondering how often I color my hair, I really don't do it any more frequently than I absolutely need to, so I would say I probably do it maybe every six to eight weeks. Those are all of my tips for coloring your hair at home and you know, how I did my hair this time around. I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to follow me on social media. Instagram and Snapchat is where I am the most active, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. And see, I knew that part, but I thought that was just kind of the extent of it, like a survivor type show. Oh, no, no, no. There's so much more to it. It turns out that this island is actually kind of special and there's a reason why all of them ended up there.